It's been about a year since my last update on the orchard. <laughs> Today I wanted to give a little tour of the orchard and to talk about a lot of the plants that we've added to diversify the orchard and to make it more of a food forest or more of a fruit tree guild type setup. As you can see, my orchard is on the front of our house on the street. We live in a suburban area and I like for my orchard to be attractive as well as productive. And so I like a lot of the flowering herbs. The great thing is that a lot of these plants are culinary and medicinal herbs. And so they're providing that value to the orchard. This bee balm is totally adored by the bees and it's taller than the cherry tree I planted it next to already. Echinacea attracts all kinds of flying insects. The yarrow I planted from seed and it just is spreading and I have it planted quite a few places in the orchard and I'm really excited with how much it's grown and how much the plants are, are filling out. The colors are really fun for bouquets as well. Forage has these pretty little blue flowers that are edible and have just a little sweet taste of nectar in them. Calendula is great. I have some in the backyard that's in bloom right now. This patch in the front isn't blooming yet. And I planted some little violas as well. The strawberries have taken well and they are spreading and I actually did not even mulch them last winter but they came back just fine this spring. And this fennel baby is from my backyard. My kids love eating those. This is garlic that is uh, hard neck garlic and so if you leave it in the ground it will come back every year also produces these little bulblets on the top that you can use to eat as well. These violets I would rather not have quite so many but I guess some of them are okay. I started these chives from seed and the daffodils were really great earlier in the season. They're past their prime obviously and the rhubarb we're really excited about. One of my sons really loves rhubarb. These elderberry plants, we dug up some shoots from some wild elderberries down, down the, by the creek. Blueberries did not bloom this year, hopefully next year, but the raspberries have taken off and they are producing fruit this year. Very exciting. Have a couple of nasturtium around the orchard as well. They're so pretty, such bright colors. I've rooted some mint cuttings. I'm going to go plant those in my orchard. As I've been researching other things to add to my orchard understory, I have learned that any of the woody herbs from my herb garden are great additions to the orchard as well. So I want to root up some thyme and oregano. I have seeds, I need to get some more dill out there. And also I have some catmint growing on the side of the house that I got starts from my friend and I need to root up some of those or or split some out next spring and and add that out to the orchard as well. I have a little bit of wild clover growing in the orchard. This fall I want to plant some clover out there, some crimson clover. Another great and attractive nitrogen fixer is actually the lupine 
flowers. I would like to get some lupines planted out there. One other plant that I grew in the orchard last year was artichoke. However, I didn't get my artichoke started early enough this spring. So I have seeds, I'll do artichokes again next year, but I would like to add a few more shrubs. I have a current bush and a gooseberry bush growing in my backyard. So I would like to get a couple of paths established through my orchard area this year. A lot of the things that I have are spreading and self-seeding. And so it's just gonna fill in more and more each year, which is really exciting um, so that it will be a little more self-sustaining and won't require uh, a lot of effort input to it each spring to get to you know to get these things going the yarrow this is the second year of that yarrow i started it from seed a year ago january and i'm already gonna have to split some of those probably this fall um, i may or i may not i may let them go one more year some of those clumps of yarrow are just 